Good morning, everybody. Welcome to sunny Weymouth. It's Tuesday morning, half past 11. Can't see the clock where it is, half past 11. And I haven't put a new battery in it yet. So, uh, what are we doing today? Well, I've got to put another tie across there. I'm going to take anything out that's in there except for the potatoes. And I have actually had enough of potatoes growing everywhere. I thought sometimes I'd leave them, but it's just becoming a pain now. Let me show you why. They're fine. They're fine. No potatoes in that one. But... The potatoes are coming up in this one. And potatoes are coming up in this one. So I'm going to have to, when I pull them out, I'm really going to have to go through them. I'm going to have to start going through every bed as well and putting like manure and stuff like that. Blood, fish and bones. Really get that compost nice and, and healthy. Right, first job, like I said, I'm going to tie them potatoes. I'm going to tie these potatoes up, so let's get on with that. And I ain't got my tripod today because it's still down at the allotment drying, although that was days ago when I did it. Can't remember if I said, but I have been round once this morning ever, and watered with the dog. Right, we'll go to the peppers. Weeds galore. I really, really must weed that. Get all of them weeds out. Um, but look. Nice little flower on there. I can't wait for these ones to come up. These are all bell peppers. I don't like them. I just like growing them. And they're like jalapenos and I believe Hungarian hot wax, if I got any out of them. But yes, anyway, turning round to these, I'm going to have to do another pea harvest just for you, Ronald Shaw. Gosh, it's too hot in there. I can't do any more. But that'll do for now, won't it? Hey. Eh? Right, I'll put them in the bucket. I should be picking these soon as well. Quite a few peas on there, but they're still, like, narrow like that. I can see plenty on there. You can never get to them all, though, can you? And the ones that you do miss, you can use as um, next year's crop. For next year's crop. Right, let's sort these lettuces out because I'd noticed one of them looked like it was bolting. So what I've done so far, I've done it with one of them. I've lifted that up. Whereas you can see that's flat on there. So I'm going to lift it up and bend it a bit more so it'll sit on top. It won't squash them down. Dear me, I'm trying to rush everything today. I don't know why. I'm not the rushing kind of person. I normally just plod along. So, take a step back. I've just had a little rest. I've moved all them from there because I want to weed in there and I want to plant something else. I don't know what I could put beetroot in there. I don't know. But I've put these here. I've picked two and replanted some from in the greenhouse. So yes, I put them all there and now I'm going to feed them. I planted some carrots in there and there. So I've just put that over the top just to keep the condensation in, to keep the soil moist so that the seeds can fertilise. That's it, get your words right, it helps. I'm still getting my words wrong. It's not fertilise, it's germinate. Right, so I've weeded there. Oh, hello. I've weeded there. And I've weeded all at the back. 
of here. Now what I'm going to do is top these up with some more compost because look, do you remember I said I wasn't going to top that one up till it grows a bit more? Well they're growing a bit more and all of them along here are a bit, you know, they all need sort of topping up a bit. And I believe I've got at least one cucumber ready to come out. Now I do want to keep one for in the greenhouse. Look at that one, that definitely needs topping up. Right, so I'm going to top all them up and bring that cucumber out. Okay, so I've topped them all up and given them a feed. Although I did water them earlier, I've just fed them with... Um, I can't think what they call it. Tea, comfrey, comfrey tea. And I've planted the one and only good cucumber that's growing. Let's just show you them that are in the... There's three left in the greenhouse, but two of them I planted ages ago. Do you remember when I planted all these? I planted all these seeds there, and then first two that came up, that one and that one, and they just seem to have just stopped growing. So this is the other one. So I'm just going to leave that in there for now. And my leeks are almost ready to be planted out. And I don't know where I'm going to plant them. I was thinking of planting them where I had the lettuce. But I suppose they can still go there. But we'll see. That blooming cause yet, it didn't want to grow there. What's the matter with it? That one's growing all right. So I shall just leave that in there for now, see what happens. And I have got some more growing around at the allotment, so... Right. What now? I'm just going to feed me peas with comfrey tea. I'm going to do a bit and then feed with comfrey tea everything. Okay. We're going to have a go at a potato reveal. It has flowered. Some of the leaves are dying back. And this, I believe, is Pentland Javelin. Now I'm going to find it a bit hard because I've got nothing to... Uh, nothing to rest my camera on. So I'm going to put all the end bits in here. Ah, pink fir apple. We'll soon find out. Let me pull all these out first, and then I'll get back to you. Right, looking at these that have come up, they look like pink fur. Now, I like them that size. I'm not expecting too much. Hang on a sec. Yeah, I'm not really expecting too much because they haven't been growing for too long. So, but we'll see. Let's see. Oh, a wiggly worm. Look at that. Wiggle, wiggle. A tiny one. There's another one. Right, I'm going to get on with this, and then I'll bring you back and show you what I've got. There we go. Not too many, but there's definitely enough there for a couple of meals for me. And them small ones, I love boiling them, mashing them just slightly, just pressing them with um, the potato masher, and then frying them in butter. Oh, that's lovely. So, yes, what's next? They're all like going over and dying off now in the middle. So 
when they start to get really bad I'll just cut the tops off and leave them and um, pick them when I want to. I'm not going to water them anymore. I watered them this morning. Uh, I think I'll do that now. No, I'll leave them. Leave them a bit longer. Right, what am I going to do now? I'm going to see if I can go all the way round. I had two strawberries earlier. I did. Two, look, these strawberries grow a funny shape. They always have done. Look at that. <laughs> oh, dear me. Um, right, I'm going to go around and cut all the runners off. And then give them a water with comfort tea. Right, it's turning out to be a bit of a weed and feed day. So, I've cut leaves off of there. I've cut the runners off of there. And fed them. Again, comfort tea. I've weeded in here. This is my asparagus bed. I haven't got all the little weeds out. But I shall wait till they grow a bit bigger and then just pluck them out. Oh, God, this lot here. These things, I like them. But I didn't realise they grew this big. I wanted small plants in here. I'm going to pull... Try and pull all this out. It's all rotted anyway. I don't like it. So I'm going to have a little go. I've got one there. And one there. And... I think I'll let these flower and then pull them out. I just don't want them in. They're too tall. They're nice, but they're too tall. And I've got these things to plant in. Oh. What are they? Dianthus, I think. But they're pretty flowers so I shall put them in. I'll put them in this end. And weed, obviously. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to pull all them out. I just don't want them big flowers in here. So let's get on with that then. Right, I've got rid of them two great big bloody lumps of rotting plant that weren't doing anything. I've left them in. Them big ones, I think they're yellow flag or something. So now, I'm just going to, apart from that, Alison, pull these couple of weeds out. I'm going to put some of that compost that I that I got out of my compost bin all over there except for round there when that grows up a little bit more then I will um, then I can just push them to the same level because I don't want I don't want that to disappear it's definitely a weed and feed day isn't it hey? so yes these three buckets of compost here which were from the potatoes that I just took out I'm gonna put them there all right that's that done it looks nice I can plant them in now but the next thing I think I've got to think about is cats oh honestly I wish I could just have a garden without cats I know they're gonna head straight for that and poo in it and dig me plants up. i got to try and work something out. I'll see if I've got some of that mesh in to put on. Um, this, this stuff. Oh, I've got them other, I've got them other things, haven't I? Them that I took off of there. Let's go see if they'll fit. Okay, I've put them plants in. I haven't watered them yet. I don't really want to put these things on. 
so I've um, just put these in and I'm going to see if I can get some fencing some of that fencing hopefully if I I know I've got a bit left hopefully if I cut it in half it will be high enough for them not to get in let's go see right I'm running out of time a bit now oh my back's hurting so this is what I've done just for now just to keep them out till I come back because I'm coming back tomorrow so I'm going to give that a good water but I'm just going to water the compost and I know weeds will grow through but I will just have to take more care with them with this bed and pull all the weeds out before they get too big but at least I've got rid of them big horrible things and as for them weeds well I'm not touching them that's not part of my garden. So from sunny Weymouth, oh, you get a view from this side. From sunny Weymouth, I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.